So this one thing can go further in your relationship with Christ to transform you and to breathe life into your relationship than anything else that you can do. This one thing, let's talk about it today. Welcome to day 12 of our 21 days in the book of John. We're in John chapter 12 today. There's a lot going on because, you know, Jesus has a meal with Lazarus. They celebrate and Mary anoints him. He gets on a donkey, rides into town. We call that Palm Sunday. I mean, on and on and on. But there's one verse in there in the middle that I think it's worthy of talking about. But there's no red letters in that verse. It's probably not stenciled on a pillow. It's probably not on a t-shirt. It's probably not on a bumper sticker on the back of a car or somewhere. It's probably not somebody's life verse. I feel confident to say that no one has chose this verse as their life verse. But still yet, it holds so much truth and so much power that it can stop you in your tracks right now and transform your life. Verse 37 says, But although he had done so many signs before them, they did not believe in him. You know, it's interesting to me. Jesus did a lot of signs, wonders. He fed thousands. He did miracles, all this stuff. And all that attracted big crowds, which was really like big events. I don't know if you've ever done this. But chances are you have. I know tons of people that have. I know I've been guilty of it. Since I've been a believer, since I was 16 years old, for 34 years, I've been to tons of events, church events, concerts, Christian concerts, revivals, big churches, on and on and on, and all the different things. And the one thing is pretty much common with all of those events is that I leave there revived, refreshed. And I'm like, man, can God get any better than what I've experienced tonight? My life has been transformed. I have been changed. The fire inside of me. Can we have church every day, right? But here's what happens. Within a week or two, three, four, ooh, we start to fade. That fire begins to get down to a little flicker. You know why that happens? Don't feel bad about it. It happens to all of us. You know what happens? It's because events don't change hearts. Events don't transform lives. See, I can go to all these things just like these people did. I could see Jesus feeding the thousands and be a part of that and everything else, but that doesn't transform my life. That doesn't help me to believe in him necessarily because the truth is where the change really comes is in the word of God. And listen, if there's any place that the enemy will fight you more than anywhere else, it's when it comes to you getting in the word of God. Number one, it's just a matter of making sure that you have time to get in it every day. But you know what? One's real common because I know a lot of people that make time to get in it. But you know what? One of the most common things is, is for people to say, I've been reading it and I don't understand it. And I get that. But here's what happens next. Because I don't understand it, I close the book. I push it away and I disregard it. Here's why you shouldn't do that today. Because it's more important that you put it in here than it is that you understand it here. The understanding will come. But when you stop putting it in here, you also stop your ability to begin to comprehend it here. Because the Spirit of God lives in you as a believer, it also serves as a filter. The Spirit of God understands everything about this book, everything about the Word of God. So as I put it in me, it's not like it's like, oh, I don't get that part. No, it gets it. Because you're getting it in here, you just haven't got it here yet. But see, if you had the chance at some point to be able to understand the depths of every single verse, there's no way that this could handle it. So we need this filter here to be able to filter this, to be able to give us the knowledge of what we've put in our heart when we need that knowledge. See, when we stop putting the word of God in here, we stop life transformation. When we stop putting the word of God in here because we're discouraged, we also stop our potential for life transformation, for mind transformation, from, from our lives being completely different to the point that now we don't need an event to stoke our fire. Our fire is fine. As a matter of fact, it's so good that if you invite us to the event, we're going to help light the fire even bigger. Because my life was not changed by that. My life was changed by putting God's word in here and allowing God's word to transform me, including my mind. Life changing. I encourage you today to commit to that because it really will change your life. Love you guys.